What's going on everyone? Austin John Place here and welcome to the series where we're going to be going over the location of all of the four star photos in new Pokemon Snap. <laughs> In this video in particular, we're going to be going over the Pokemons whose four star photos are going to be at the Florio Nature Park during the day, the night, and the Florio Island Illumina spot. Here are all the Pokemon that are available. We are going to be covering Pichu, Grookey, Scorbunny, Bufflint, Pidgeot, Tangrowth, Moga, Wurmple, Murkrow, Caterpie, Heracross, Pinsir, Dodrio, Ducklet, Swanna, Bidoof, Taillo. Torterra, Magikarp, Hoodoo, Comfy, Florgis, Combi, Vespaqueen, Sylveon, Shaman, and Meganium. All of those Pokemon's four star photos are going to be featured in this video. You can scroll through here and find the individual timestamp of the Pokemon you're looking for, or just vibe with me. Whatever you want to do, it's cool. All right, great. As soon as we start off the round, the first four star photo that we're going to be able to get is Bufflint, and Bufflint is going to be triggered by playing music, and then they're going to fight each other. This only happens on the third star level. In fact, you should really be waiting until the three star level and before you do any of these really because some interactions are locked to the final star. Throughout this entire fight, as long as the music is playing, Bufflin is going to continue butting heads. All of these are four star photos. There we go. That's that's the shot exactly right there. We did get a pretty nice Bufflin picture of the fight. I thought these locking horn photos would have been a four star, but nope. Somehow that locking horn photo is. But not that one. That's weird. If we turn around and continue down our path, you're going to see this patch of apples over here. You're going to throw some fluff fruit next to them. And you're going to have an Omoga land here. Omoga can do one of two animations if it chooses to use Thundershock, and it just did. That is a four star photo. There is an alternate to Omoga, which is located right here. If you throw a crystal flute on top, if you throw an orb on top of here and take a photo of Emoga, that can be a four star photo as well. Emoga shocking the fruit, you need to get it pretty much while its cheeks are electric or immediately after, as well as if you decide to get it on top of the little landing over here. You can get the Emoga pretty dang close. Again, keep in mind, you don't need to focus on the fruit or the lightning, you only need to focus on the Pokemon. So the more of Emoga that's being shown, the better the photo. It doesn't matter if any of the environment is showing, even though we would both agree that that's a better photo. Nope, it all depends on how much of Emoga is showing. As we crest over the hill, you're going to see a ducklet in flight right here. That is a four star photo, as well as if you take a photo of it any other time while it's flying around. That ducklet that I told you about who's flying around is gonna fly right in front of your face. Nice, we just got our second shot. Like I said, anytime the ducklet is in flight is going to be a four star photo. For ducklet, it's just a matter of making sure you get it in the middle of the frame. This Pidgeot over here, if you hit it with an apple, you can initiate its four star photo sequence. It's now your option if you want to take the left main path or take the right path with the Bidoof area. If you do decide to take the right path with the Bidoof, you are going to be able to get Bidoof's four star photo, but Bidoof's four star photo can be happening at night as well. I'm gonna cover the nighttime one. In regard to the Pidgeot that we hit, it is now going to be perched on top of this tree, and if you hit Magikarp over here, Magikarp is going to bounce once, that's going to signal Pidgeot to come down and start the animation. Getting this photo is going to be a 4 star photo for both Magikarp and Pidgeot, ironic because Magikarp is literally being murdered in it. You can also take the photo of them as they are flying away, be sure to focus on both of them individually for two separate photos, great. Is somehow technically not considered its catching animation. I don't understand how, but that's fine. There's a much easier Pidgeot picture to get at nighttime. So yeah, that is only a one star photo for me. It can be a four star if it's like two frames later. Magikarp when it's being carried away is always a four star. For Magikarp, you can get it as soon as it's picked up. So it's just a matter of timing and it's very difficult. As we make our way to the final area, we are going to be able to throw a crystal fruit inside of here. The crystal bloom, that's going to call over this comfy, and now you can throw down some fruit. Excuse me, Vivaline, I'm kind of working right here. And seeing these comfy eat, that is going to be a four star photo. Comfy, while it is consuming the fruit, is a four star photo. 
For comfy, again, just make sure it's taking up all the frame. You don't need to see that it's an apple over there. You just need to see all of comfy. Anyways, we're gonna focus over here and we're gonna hit this crystal bloom. That's Shaman just chilling over there. And now we're gonna hit this Florgis with this crystal bloom. And boom, now it's gonna do this crazy leaf petal storm thing. And that's a four star photo as well. We are done with our first run. Florgis during this petal storm, regardless of which level that you're on, is going to be a four star photo. It doesn't matter if it's the blue or the orange or whatever happens. Have you? Flourges, just make sure it's all in the middle of the frame. Also, when you're doing the leaf storm, actually matters quite a bit. Oh, that's actually a better one we took. Nice. Look, now I have four different colors. There's different colors. Wonder how I get the other colors. I'll work on that. Oh, Professor Mirror decided that my Florges photo was gonna be one of his favorites. Nice, thanks, buddy. That's the first time he's picked a half decent photo. Great. Next, I want to go over how to get the four star photos of who are we going after? I could do Wormpull and Taillow in the same run really easy because they're next to each other. So let's go for that. Making your way through the lake. Once you pass the area with the Bidoof Dam, you're going to look straight ahead. You can get both Taillow and Wormpull in the same run, but it's really finicky and you need to make sure that you accurately focus on the right Pokemon when you do it. You only need to take a picture of one Taillow and then once you're fully lined up here in the middle, you throw a life orb and then they're gonna fight each other. And then Wormpole is gonna spit out some poison goo and then Taillow is gonna leave and then Wormpole wins. If there's three Taillow, you could still get the same photo because getting three Taillow gets you three Wormpole, it's weird. Anyways, when you go to the scoring, you're gonna be getting a four star for Taillow when it's knocked out after the purple gas or when it's currently being knocked out, as you can see right here, currently knocked out. As you see right here, this is like soon as the purple gas came out and that's soon as it's done. For the Wormpole, it's when the purple gas is coming out, you could essentially get four star photos from both of them during this interaction. You just need to kind of do it a few times and then eventually you're gonna get it. And if you ever need to get a three star photo of these Pokemon, you could just not throw the life orbs and then you'll get three stars. It's really strange. And for our third and final run that we are going to be making at this area during the day, we are going to be getting the four star photos of Grookey and Pichu and Score Bunny and Shaman. You know, the, the four starters. Anyway, as soon as the course starts, you could take some pictures of them, and I don't actually think it makes a difference, but over here, if you zoom in, we're gonna be getting Score Bunny appearing. Score Bunny needs to acknowledge you. Great, take a photo, and then we're going to continue on. If you've done it correctly up until this point, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see Score Bunny running down. Fantastic. Straight ahead, you're going to be seeing Pichu, Grookey, and Shaman as Early as here, you can start throwing out apples to lure out Pichu. Pichu is then going to walk away from Grookey and Shaman inside of there. Perfect. And now we're going to actively throw orbs at Grookey. We're going to play a song and we're going to play some music. To be honest with you, I don't know exactly what Grookey requires to wake up. All I know is you have to really, really, really bother him. <laughs> uh, he, is, he is a heavy sleeper. That's for sure. Great. Both of them are gonna wake up at the same time. The Grookey right here and Shaman, perfect. Uh, by the way, you could feed Shaman an apple and you're going to be getting, oh, there you go. That is a three star photo. Or is it and when he hops afterward? There you go. And also if you need the Grookey handstand quest, you could just wait a second after this Grookey is woken up and he may do a handstand right here. Moving on to the third and final part. Once we reach the final area, you're gonna be seeing all the boys run down here. And as soon as you come around this turn, you wanna throw a, excuse me, Vivalion, I'm doing a thing, I'm doing a thing. I need you to get out of my way. I'm gonna need you to get all the way off of my screen. Perfect. Throw, <laughs> throw it down at the Crystal Bloom and then throw one back there. That's gonna pop Shaman up. That's a three star photo if you get him in the air. Score Bunny, Grookey, and right here inside of the flowers, you wanna get the Pichu. Fantastic. Now Pichu, Score Bunny, Grookey, and Shaman are all gonna head over here to this Bloom. You're gonna throw a orb at the Bloom. Grookey, 
You want to get that photo. You want to get the photo of Pichu. You want to get the separate photo of Score Bunny. You want to get the separate photo of Shaman. But the rest of them can be three stars or four stars. The Shaman photo is a guaranteed four star. Here we go. We have one photo of Grookey staring directly at Pichu while Pichu is ashamed. I'm not too sure why Pichu is ashamed. That's an awfully hot Grookey shot. Score Bunny is on the ground laughing. That is a four star photo. Oh, he is right in the middle. Yes, he is. Uh, however, the crystal bloom blocking part of his feet is actually going to hurt my score for size. And the score bunny? I even beat the score bunny photo. This is a great tutorial I'm making right here. I'm making, I'm getting even better photos from myself. Shaman when hanging out with his friends is going to be a four star photo. This is not going to beat my previous one, which is literally perfect. That's actually from a recording like 10 minutes ago. This Shaman photo is always four stars. Make sure you're focusing on the individual Pokemon. Shaman, as I mentioned, is always going to be a four-star photo doing this. Oh, he's facing me straight on. That might be a money shot. And this Pichu photo of Pichu being embarrassed. And then also the flower crown are both fantastic photos. And this Pichu, oh, it's, it's another awesome picture. And boom, I just went from gold to silver. Perfect. Look at that. As you can see right there, if you get a side photo of Pichu up nice and close, you get a three star. Next up, we are going to go to Park During the Night. There are actually many, many, many Pokemon that we can get all in a single run. I haven't actually practiced it, although it is something that you can achieve. In addition to the four star Score Bunny photo that you got during the day, over here on the right, if you throw an Illumina Orb at Score Bunny and you get a picture of the blue fire, that's a four star photo. That's a four star for Score Bunny. If we turn to the left, throw an Illumina Orb at Dodrio, that is a four star photo. That's a four star for Dodrio. Fantastic. If we move up just a little bit and Tangrowth is over here, if we throw an orb and then we look up, that is a four star photo right there. That's a four star for Tangrowth. Soon as we cross the bridge, we're gonna be throwing a few apples kind of in the middle of the pathway. You're gonna be hearing all those Murkrow coming down and you're gonna see one coming off from the side. Remember to throw a few more so they don't despawn. And Murkrow is gonna head over to your newestly spawned apple that still exists. It's gonna grab it with its foot and start eating. That is a four star photo. Uh, for some reason, it decided to walk away I think because it can't be in the actual, you know, line of the cart. That's a four star for Murkrow. Anyways, over here, this crystal bloom, we're gonna hit the scan button. We're gonna activate it again. Fantastic, Pinsir is now out. Now we're gonna do the full scan. We're gonna throw another thing and we're gonna do another scan. And then right behind, boom, Heracross is gonna fall down. That's neat. As we continue through, you're gonna be seeing the Sylveon over here. You're gonna to wanna to throw an illustrious orb at the Sylveon and wake it up. If you look to the right, over here we have a Pinsir and a Heracross fighting. That is a four star Pinsir photo. That's a four star for Pinsir. That is a four star Heracross photo. That's a four star for Heracross. And if we play some music, they're going to stop fighting and Sylveon is going to come out here and it's going to be all glowing and stuff. It's going to be super lit, right? Sylveon is going to walk a little bit closer. Sylveon is currently breaking up the fight. And when you see it happy, that is a four star photo. Be careful because this tree and Heracross's horns and everyone's horns are going to get in the way of that being a good photo. That's a four star for Sylveon. Moving on, if we look to the Torterra over here, we're gonna be able to throw an apple directly in front of them and make contact with one. And when it yawns, there you go. That is a four star photo. That's a four star for Torterra. I'm going to fast forward a little bit right here for the Dodrio. We can actually get another four star photo, even though we already got one of him. These Swana, you're gonna play some music and throw an apple toward them. And then they're all going to be leaving together. Fantastic. If you're going to get any of these Swana in flight, that is a four star photo. Boop. That's a nice shot right there. That's a four star for Swana. Uh, remember size over everything. I'm going with that one. Fantastic. Now we're going to be making our way onto the Bidoof Dam. I'm going to hit him with an orb just because I want to, but you actually have to hit him with an apple. He's going to pop out of the top, and boom, that is a four star Bidoof photo. Nice. If you kept the Swana there, you would get a slightly higher score because of the other Pokemon bonus. That's a four star for Bidoof. Over here, you're going to be finding a Hoodoo. We're going to get really close to the sign. We're going to play a song and Caterpie are going to pop up. That is a four star Caterpie photo right there. You could get really nice and close to it done. Perfect. That's a four star for Caterpie. Over here, we are going to be hitting this Crystal Bloom. And then this Combi is going to run over here and it's going to grab a Vespaquin. 
And then we're also going to aim for the further one back there and make sure you hit it. All these cone beer are going to be super excited for it. And now if we throw an Illumina Orb at Vespa Queen, it's going to be doing some spins. And if you get the combi in sync with the Vespa Queen, you're going to be able to get a four star combi photo. And during this entire animation, that is a four star Vespa Queen photo. That's a four star for Vespa Queen. And yep, we did get the combi. That's a four star for combi. And fantastic. That is our first run. If you did it all in one run with me, then there's actually a bonus that you get for taking 10 different Pokemon's four star photos in a single run. It was actually something I practiced. A little bit. Wow, that's that's 13 of them in a single run. Okay, that's actually a new Dodrio record for me. Very nice. Too zoomed in on the Vespa Queen. Not zoomed in enough on the Tangrowth. Murkrow wasn't looking at me. Not good on Heracross. Not good on Torterra. I basically showed you how to do all of them in one run. Uh, you can definitely do them individually and get you know much more precise photos. See what I was talking about? The other Pokemon bonus in the back with the Swan and Neck? That Swan and Neck would have given me enough points to beat out the last one. Oh, we did get a better Sylveon though. And a better Caterpie just because we were a lot closer. And a better Combi because it's bigger. And for our last run, we are going to do two events that would have conflicted with our previous ones. You do not want to turbo at the beginning, or if you do, not a lot. You're going to be seeing a Pajot land over here. The Pajot is going to come down. You're going to throw an apple right in front of it and feed it. Take its photo. You do not need to watch it eat the apple, although you can for, I think, a two or three star. Once you pass the Torterra over on the left, you are going to be seeing Pidgeot land. There it is. You want to feed it again and take another photo of it. This is usually where you get a really nice photo of it eating. And moving on, once you get to the sign right here, you do not want to hold down the turbo button because Pidgeot is going to come and land directly in front of you, coming closer and closer and closer, and boom. Pidgeot is going to show how thankful it is. It is going to smile, it is going to walk up to you. Look at that, that is a four-star Pidgeot photo. It's your choice, you could do that, or you could do the Magikarp thing. That requires such specific, <laughs> specific timing. Uh, I think this Pidgeot is much, much easier. Remember, size over everything, make sure nothing is cut off, and it's always going to be facing you. It's a super easy, great big photo to get. Nope, somehow my previous one was slightly better. Its pose was better? What? Okay. Uh, yeah, get batch mode ready for that. Over here where you see this Hoodoot, this is for a four-star Hoodoot photo. You want to throw an illustrious orb at it, and then play a song. I don't know if you have to play the song and the orb, but you know what? Better, better, better have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And now it's going to start singing while it's glowing. And perfect. Now we have two Hoodoot flying around the side. That is a four-star Hoodoot photo. And the reason it can't happen the same time as the pincer event is because this Hoodoo just comes and chills down here. So, yeah, there's that. Isn't that right, Hoodoo? And... I doubt you need it, but if you need to, you could feed Hoodoot for a, uh, a nice photo right there. For this Hoodoot, while they're in the air, if you have batch mode on, you probably want to do batch mode, and you really want to focus on getting them in the middle. Uh, they're slightly larger there, but they're totally facing me here, so let's go with that. Oh, we went from gold to crystal. Very nice, because the size was much bigger. The placement, they were closer to the middle. That's awesome. Great. Now we just need to update the Hoodoot on a branch picture. The third and final course that we are going to cover in this video is the Illumina Spot for Mega Neum. It is worth noting that there are four unique starting points for Mega Neum. He can be here, it can be here while standing up, he could be over here sleeping, and over here standing up. Also, if you didn't know, there's a Sylveon back here. You could do a scan feature, and then you can start throwing orbs back there to find the Sylveon. You need to wake it up. Uh, you actually don't need to wake it up, but this is an easy way to get a four-star Sylveon photo. Hit Meganium with three orbs. Meganium's going to be super happy for that. Now we are just going to come over here and we are going to throw apples toward that flower. If you throw all the apples over here, then everyone is going to come on over here, including the Sylveon. Great, Sylveon just got hit by the Illuminous effect. Meganium is super happy about this. And when it does that stand-up thing, Sylveon is going to go on its back legs. That is a four-star photo of Sylveon. Also, these comfy come out, which is neat. Between where Meganium is here and where it goes to go pick up its buddy Shaman, you, it's going to be losing its luminous effect. You need to hit it three times. 
Usually right around this tree. There we go. Two. And now it's glowy again. Anyways, this Meganeme is going to come over to this crystal over here. And you need to kind of time it. That way the crystal bloom is now looks about good. The crystal bloom is lit. Meganeme is going to want a whole bunch of that. And we're going to hit it three times as well. If you time it right, it's going to buck up on its back legs. There we go. That's a shot and a half. That's a four-star Meganeme photo. And the last photo that we need for this video. Fantastic. Let's quit. Meganeum bucking up on its back legs. Very nice. Yeah, unfortunately, this one was a little bit more zoomed in, so that one won. Oh, look at that. Shaman hopping is a four star. Neat. Look at that. I'm getting even more four star photos than I thought of. Pfft. Awesome. Sylveon, we're nowhere close because Sylveon is facing us and the other one and the Shaman. Yeah, it's not going to compare to how close and zoomed up that one is. And there we go. There are all the photo decks entries for the four star photos for all of these Pokemon that I previously mentioned ending here at Eevee. Uh, in my next video, we still have to cover everything at the camp and then uh, everything else in the game. Think of it like Shrine Hunters, except for pictures of Pokemon and new Pokemon Snap. Well, anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.